Hey everyone, here's a question from comparing quantities. And the question is, rupees nine thousand becomes eighteen thousand at simple interest in eight years. Find the rate percent per annum. So what is given? We have given that nine thousand rupees has become eighteen thousand within a eight years, and we have to find out the rate here. So what is given now? Since nine thousand becomes eighteen thousand at a simple interest in eight years, so time is given as eight years, and amount is eighteen thousand. This is including interest, right? In principal and interest, including is eighteen thousand. We have to find out R here. So let us write down what is given. So here is a solution. So we know principal, which is rupees nine thousand. And we have given amount is rupees eighteen thousand. So rupees eighteen thousand. And we know time, which is eight years. We have to find out here rate. Now we're going to directly use a formula. But before we use this, we have to find out the simple interest. And we know that simple interest is equal to amount minus principal. How much total amount we got from there? If I remove the principal, principal is nothing but how much amount I have invested or if, if how much amount I have deposited. The initial amount is called the principal. So here. Simple interest. The interest which I got will be at the end will be from total amount. I have to subtract principal. So this is rup from eighteen thousand. I have to remove the principal, which is rupees nine thousand. So eighteen thousand minus nine thousand will be nine thousand. So simple interest will be nine thousand. Now I have to find out rate, and we directly have a formula for rate, which actually comes from the simple interest formula. So rate is equal to simple interest multiplied by hundred and divided by the remaining two factors. It is principal multiplied by time. We know every value we have to just substitute and get the answer. Simple interest is nine thousand. So nine thousand multiplied by hundred divided by principal is here nine thousand. Multiplied by time here is eight, so nine thousand nine thousand will get cancelled here. We'll get hundred divided by eight. We can cancel this in four table. Four two is eight, and four twenty five is hundred. You can cancel this in two table. It's completely on you. Have directly cancelled this in four table. So this is equal to twenty five upon two percentage. Or when you convert this into a mixed fraction, this will be twelve one by two percentage. That's it. I hope this question is clear. Now, in case you have any other question from this chapter or any other chapter, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.